Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're doing some more work on Humphrey's Tank, which is my flower horn behind me. He is the co-host to my Friday night live stream. He's my water puppy. I sit and I do my normal day-to-day -day job from this desk down here and he's in the tank right next to me. And I want to make it as good as we possibly can. So my friends at Fluval have hooked me up. I said in the conversation I had with them that I was a bit meh about the current lights that I had on this tank and I wanted something that could really make the colours pop in Humphrey so they've sent me this marine uh, so Fluval C marine light which is going to help me get the colours to the max so obviously it's designed for things like corals and that kind of stuff but flower horns with their pearls and their various colours that should make that pop but they've also given me a brand new product which is this which is the Fluval FX UVC inline clarifier which is easy to say. You might have seen the inline UV sterilizer before, which fitted the 07 series, and um, which was a lot smaller, uh, lower capacity tanks. This is the new version, which is upgraded to fit onto the FX filters and any other filter. So today's video is going to be chucking this light on, doing a bit of an unboxing on the UV filter, attaching it to my Fluville FX2 and getting it running. Editor Graham here, because uh, I forgot to mention it at the time, but maybe even a giveaway, but you have to hang around until a bit later in the video. Don't know why I winked. And then we'll do a bit of a before and after comparison. You can come back in a few weeks, see if it's made any difference to the clarity of the water. Um, it's the kind of thing that needs to run for a while before it gets there. I'm not here to explain to you what the benefits of UV is and whether it works or whether it doesn't. We're just going to unbox it, plug it in, see how easy it is to set up and then make our own minds up together in a few weeks. So, in this highly scientific experiment, this is the old light, it's the Aquarian Eco light I used to use in my old discus tank. It's fine, it provides a level of illumination. It just doesn't, it's just not doing it for me. Humphrey is a very bright, colorful fish and it's just not being shown off like that. And some spots of the tank are a bit dim. So, that's before. This is with the Fluval Marine. Wow! <laughs> so, like uh, any of the other Fluvo lights, if you use the AquaSky, they all work off the same app. The difference with this one is that it has a physical button on top I can press on and off. Um, huge amounts of customization from within the app. You can set multiple time points, all that kind of stuff. You can change the colors uh, manually and bring things down. This, I think this is everything 100% color plus, but I can move things around. More red, less red. Um, and find what we like but the amount of options definitely got somewhere to go with this so improvement number one done let's move on to the UVC clarifier so loads more light added which in and of itself can add some more problems increased algae things like that so that's where this might come in this is the new FX UV clarifier um, it's an upgrade to the previous one in that it now fits the FX line of filters natively but I don't know whether Fluv I want you to know this or not, but it'll fit any filter because it comes with a bunch of attachments. <laughs> UVC, this is going to be more of an unboxing and setup rather than a long-term review, but click that subscribe button, come back in a couple of months and see the long-term effects or whether it's done the job or not. But UVC, they have their fans and they have their less than fans. I normally put myself in the less than fan um, category. I don't, I don't think when they're built in and they're small wattage that they just do anything. You normally have to have these big, massive, cumbersome things like pond things, which who's got room for that in their cabinet or anything? But this obviously is a lot more compact. Generally used for cloudy water, green water, and obviously I don't have green water and it's kind of clear already. What I'm going for is that swimming in air look. So see how clear we can get it. Um, so time will be the test, like I say, come back and have a look at it. I, I've always been a bit dubious about like canister filters with built-in UV as to whether or not they were really doing anything. And again, even these big massive filters like pond filters, which you've just not got room for under your tank. But we're going to give it a fair shake, shall we say, and see whether or not it does the job. Certainly a lot more compact, certainly a lot more energy efficient than some of the big massive ones that you see here. Uh, 20,000 hours it's rated for can't be bad. Like I say, it's not a horrific tank that we're trying to clean up, so maybe results will be limited, but you know, we'll give it a fair shake. Right, let's get started with the unboxing element of the video. Now, obviously this was provided to me by Fluval, as was the light, so naturally I'm going to be a bit biased. No, I won't, as I always say. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. 
Okay, there's not much in the box. You get your power plug with barrel jack that connects that and provides power. There's obviously the filter itself. It has this little, I'm assuming, mounting mechanism bracket thing that fits onto the back like so. So that could be mounted to the back of your cabinet or under your tank in some way, wherever you want it to go. And then, I mean, they are really simple things. It's going to be in and out. The idea being you take in the water, it spends a lot of time in contact with or in sight of the UV light, which kills all the, some say parasites, some just say the algae. Um, Benefits are something that I need to look into more. I'm not going to make any wild claims that this will cure your tank of ick or white spot, but some people do say these things. Um, to be fair, the box says cloudy water, green water, this is your deal. As well as this, we've got a few other attachments. Some hose clamps, Jubilee clips, and various attachments. Um, so it should be a fairly straightforward setup. And of course, destructions. Normally I'd throw these away, but you know, We'll give it a fair shake. Why have I started saying that all of a sudden? First and foremost, safety instructions. So don't, it's not a submersible product, so don't put it under the water. Um, that is the kind of thing I would have done a few years ago. Um, don't stare at the bulb, blah, 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 blah. So what are they saying? The UVC bulb, they're estimating a lifetime of two years. It says 20,000 hours. Instructions on how to do that. So yeah, it's user serviceable, that's good. And then some fitting instructions now. A QR code for installation instructions and several mounting options. Fine, we'll do that. Okay, so you scan a QR code, you get quite detailed instructions on how to install it. Okay, I'm not going to make a tutorial because I normally do things the wrong way anyway, but there's very detailed instructions with lots of pictures. How hard can it be? So there are a few mounting options. You can either, if you have an FX range filter, you can either connect it directly to the output of your FX filter. It always goes on the output um, with this attachment, which is included. If you want to mount it somewhere else, it comes with the mount I showed you earlier on the back where you can mount it vertically or horizontally somewhere in your cabinet. But if you want to do that, you need an extra hose. So you're going to need to get another one of these hoses to connect from the output to that and then back into the tank. Or you can fashion a piece of hose and use one of these, which you can also use for non fluval filters. So if you have a Eheim or a Oasi or whatever, you can use these to retrofit this to it. So as I don't currently have a spare piece of hose, I'm gonna use uh, the attach it directly to the filter option. It doesn't matter which one you use for input and output on this, because it works both ways, it says. So that's good. So all I need to do is connect a couple of hose clamps to this, attach it, and the process for that is just basically turn these taps off so no water's coming through, lift off the out, plug it onto the other end of this, and we're away. So, I shall get off and do that. It wouldn't be very interesting watching me scrabble around on the ground, so I'll cut back to when I've done it. Right, issue number one that I found. This bit is the valve on top of the FX filter. That's where you turn the water off. This hose is obviously full of water because it's connected to the return in the tank. It requires you to leave the valve on the filter, and then connect this grey bit to this. As soon as I take this Jubilee clamp off, it's going to flood the place with water. And I've rooted this in such a way that it's really hard to get it out of the tank. So what I really need to do is either drain the tank down a bit or finagle a way to get the other end of this out of the tank so as I don't drain the tank all over the floor. Now, not a problem for everyone, but just you know, realise this bit stays on the filter when you're fitting it, so this bit comes off and could cause a bit of a mess. Um, another potential issue is the cable isn't massively long. I can just about make it fix. If you have all your plugs and sockets and everything inside your cabinet, it won't be an issue at all, so maybe I'm not the perfect target audience for this one. 
but the power supply for all this is quite a way away so it took a little bit of figuring out but we'll get there right we're done it's in it's running it's not running it's just in it's plumbed in everything's tightened we're good to go it, it took five minutes four of which were spent faffing around getting the the hose out of the tank and getting bitten by the bloody flower horn again but if you didn't have that problem yeah it's very 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 straightforward so i guess now we'd turn it on and um, open the valves again and it should go it's important not to run a uv when you don't have water going through it and um, can cause problems with the bulb so once the filter's going which it is make sure there are no leaks there is a bit of a leak there but that's coming from the water that's spilled earlier we're good to go and um, there's no timer on this so I know on the smaller version of this there was a timer or at least in the ones that I saw I never actually owned one myself and um, so if you did want to use the timer function you'd have to get an external timer for that I can use my Helix Smart to do that I suppose but it's really it's not that power hungry so I don't really have a problem running it all the time it's not going to harm anything running it all the time so let's yes, switch it on okay it's on um i assume this gasket element here was see-through so you can oh you can oh, i was going to say i was assuming it was see-through so you could see the bulb to tell it was on or not but yeah i was just looking at the wrong angle so yeah this gasket on the end where you do the replacement bulbs is see-through so you can see that it's on job done so I realise now the water's gone all cloudy because I've stopped to start the filter a couple of times so it's spot out some muck but I don't think it'd be fair to test this immediately because obviously it takes a long time this is for cloudy water, green water, potentially parasites and various other nasties in your water that you want rid of um, and it's not an instant fix type situation so it's never going to work like that um, the pros is it's dead simple there's like no moving parts it's plug and play it was really easy to install it i really like the fact that it included um, adapters and things for other situations i kind of am a little bit triggered by the fact that it's just kind of hanging off the end of the fx output and um, so i probably will want to mount that properly but i need to get another hose for that if you're watching fluval and you want to send me another hose you know that, that might be nice um, or i'll just go and buy one but the fact that everything in this smaller package and this low wattage yeah so the only things i didn't like about it like i say were only probably applicable to me it's not going to be everybody's use case and um, i had to do a little bit of funny routing to get the power cable to reach and like i say with the return hose being a little bit awkward that was a bit of a pain and i did make a little bit of a spillage but as anyone who's been here before knows spillages are a common thing around here so i'm well used to dealing with them i don't know what more to say about it other than you know time will have to tell the replacement parts um, and additional parts obviously you might want replacement bulbs fluval fairly well known respected brand you should be able to get them easily enough and um, from most places and the fluval hoses are fairly easy to pick up as well usually um, and it does say on the box that you do need these things if you want to hook it up that way i just like the fact that it came with adapters for non fluval filters i don't know if that's what they were intended to be for but you know it would they will fit on anything so you can make this work in any situation really um, two years extra guarantee on top of the three if you register it i always think that's great because it, if a company is willing to give you a free extra warranty then they must be confident of the product so that's the fluval fx uvc clarifier um, if you're interested in this kind of thing, you know, and you've hung around this far, maybe we'll do a giveaway because Fluval give me two of them. So before Fluval realised their mistake and asked for it back, I thought I'd give it away as quick as possible to one of you guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give this away. I'm going to do a subscriber draw on next Friday's live stream. So that's Friday the 22nd of September. If it's after the 22nd of September, sorry, someone's probably won it by now. But if you're watching this now, and you want to win it. You can with three simple rules. One, you have to live in the UK or be willing to pay the posties to wherever you do live. Number two, you have to be a subscriber. You can fix that right now by clicking that subscribe button down below. And number three, I want you to leave a comment in the description that says, UVC me please. All one word, UVC me please. 
Um, leave another comment as well, tell me what you think or anything like that. But I want a single comment that says UVC me, please. All one word, and then on the live stream, Friday 9pm on the 22nd of September, we'll do a draw of all the eligible comments. Eligible. And we'll give it away. Come along to the live stream anyway. Sometimes we have fun and talk about all kinds of things there. But you know, if you want to win this brand new on the market, we'll give that a go. Tell all your friends. See you in the next one.